Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. We've got some stuff to get done today. Um, it's actually a little bit later in the day when I'm starting to film this, which is not typical for me. It is 3.30. I just got home from grocery shopping. I've got all my groceries out here on the island. So I'm gonna get all this unpacked out on the counter, give you guys a grocery haul. Let's get to work getting all of this stuff done on my to-do list. And we're also gonna cook some dinner together tonight. It's ta it's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. Make some super, super simple tacos with you guys. So let's get to work. I also wanted to mention before I get started, I just thought of this. I know you guys are gonna ask where this sweatshirt is from. Um, it's like a huge oversized sweatshirt. I just have some black leggings and my black vans on, but this sweatshirt I got from H&M last winter. So I think it was like February when I got this. I don't know if it's on the site still, um, but yeah, I got it from H&M. things over here the kids have been really wanting some donuts super random but they were really wanting donuts from Safeway and I told them if the bakery still had donuts out this afternoon then I would grab some so got a few sprinkled donuts got some glazed donuts and then we have some pirates booty here and then everything else I've got over here on the island so I've got a bag of yellow onions one red onion Got some tortillas. Brayden's favorite breakfast that he's been eating recently has been tortillas in the morning, like fried tortilla with some olive oil, you know, in the pan with scrambled eggs and Parmesan cheese. Super random, but it's been his favorite breakfast. We're also having tacos for dinner, so I need more tortillas. Got two things of butter. I got three packs of pizza cheese. We use this for different things, and we're also gonna do homemade pizza this week. So we got those, a bag of carrots. I'm gonna cook some of these up for some meal prep. Got two packs of Sweet Lauren's. I love these cookies. So I got the fudge brownie ones and the chocolate chunk. So we're gonna make those in this video. Um, I've got some apple cider here and then also some ginger beer. So this is um, like a soft drink. But Danielle and I are gonna do some mocktails for Thanksgiving when she comes. And she sent me one that looked really good and it has like one part cider, one part ginger beer and then you can garnish it with um, rosemary. got those and then I got some almond milk and a couple different mac and cheeses. We've been trying some different ones. This is one that we get all the time. So this is the Annie's shells and cheese. And then instead of the regular Annie's mac and cheese, I grabbed a couple of the organic ones for the kids to try. And then I also grabbed the Banza brand. This is chickpea pasta mac and cheese. And the kids love the Banza noodles because I cook those all the time. Um, they take their, their chickpea noodles, but they taste like regular noodles. So we'll see. We're gonna try these two, see which ones they like the best. Um, just a little bit, a little bit healthier option than the classic like Kraft mac and cheese. So we'll see. Um, we have some uncured pepperoni for pizza night. I was running low on dried rosemary and thyme, so got both of those. We've got some pizza crust mix and some muffin mix. I've never tried this and we're not gluten free, um, but I do like a lot of gluten free stuff. I don't really eat a lot of bread or anything like that. So I'm not like strictly gluten free, but I do buy some gluten free stuff. Anyways, this pizza crust, I got two of these, um, the Bob's Red Mills. And then I'm gonna try for our mini muffins this week, I'm gonna try this muffin mix. It's just plain muffin mix and you can add whatever um, you want to it so I can do the chocolate chips and you know the blueberries or whatever We'll see how much I need to use of this to make a batch, but got those and I got these Potatoes, so these are a little like mixed bite-sized ones and you can steam these right in the bag I've got four sweet potatoes for a couple of different dishes this week. I got three bags of these frozen mixed vegetables these are super easy just to heat up like on the stovetop for the kids. They love these mixed vegetables like with their lunch and stuff. So we might do like 
mac and cheese with some vegetables and some fruit. And I got some of the popcorn chicken for the kids. Got some asparagus, zucchini, Brussels sprouts. Got some honey crisp apples, some mini pretzels. I've got a few things of blueberries here for blueberry muffins and snacking. Got raspberries, grapes, strawberries. Um, got some hash browns. Got some chicken thighs for Mary Me Chicken. I got two things of ground turkey for a couple recipes. Also needed some ground turkey sausage. So and then I so I got two of those, and then I also got an Italian style one. We've got some Dave's Killer Bread. Got some mozzarella cheese. We've got two things of eggs. We go through a ton of eggs in this house. I swear we need some chickens. Um, and then I got some of these Annie's dipped granola bars. That is everything. So. I am going to clean out the freezer first because I've got some frozen stuff that I need to get put into the freezer. Um, so I'm gonna work on cleaning this freezer out. It's just really, I honestly, I do not recommend. If you are in the market for a refrigerator freezer combo, I would much rather prefer like a freezer on one side, fridge on the other side because this, there's like no room in here. I don't know, it's just, and it's, you can't organize it very well. Need to fill up the ice, but I need to get this organized and cleaned out. There's stuff in here that needs to be tossed. Um, so I'm gonna do the freezer first and then this refrigerator. So we are gonna get that done. And then I also need to just kind of clean up the pantry over here a little bit. Also real quick, just wanna remind you guys of my discount code for Built Bar. Obviously we like Built Bars and you guys hear me talk about them all the time. These are our favorite protein bars, um, not just me, but Donnie and the kids as well. The kids love these little um, Built Bites. It was just like a smaller version of the full-size Built Bar, but I like these too for like a little treat. It's like a little candy bar. These peanut butter brownie ones are definitely one of my favorite flavors. Blueberry muffin, but the mix box is typically what we end up getting a lot of the times just because it has so many flavors in it. They're all so good. The macros are really great on all of these bars. Built bars are also gluten free and have no preservatives, natural flavors. So definitely be sure to check the description box. I have a discount code for you guys and a link and all the info, but my discount is Kristen Casper 10. That'll save you on all built products. They have all different stuff on their site, but the bars are my favorite. Mint brownie definitely tastes like a thin mint. The um, coconut almond is like an almond joy. You guys, these are seriously the best bars. They're my favorite. I eat these for snacks, um, post-workout, breakfast, you name it. They're just really, really good and quick and easy, and I love them. So our freezer has like the, you know, water and ice and stuff, but our ice maker, this is another reason why I do not recommend this particular refrigerator. It's a Kenmore, I think. I'm not sure. But the ice maker makes like the tiniest little pieces of ice, and this is never full, because we always, we drink ice water like all day long, and it makes like, just a few ice cubes at a time. So, 
since that's the case with our ice maker right here, we have this in the freezer. So it takes up some space in the freezer, but we're always making ice cubes and putting them in here because there's five of us and we drink ice water all day, every day, and the water doesn't come out of the fridge cold. It comes out room temperature. So we're constantly running out of ice. I'm gonna make some mini muffins. We ran out and the kids would like to have some more, so I'm using this muffin mix. It says to dump the muff muffin mix in, make a little hole, like a well in the center, and then add the oil, milk, and eggs. 
mix well to combine and then add in any add-ins that you want so I'm gonna do uh, chocolate chips I think if I could just share my view maybe I'm too taboo if everyone knew All right, I got the muffins in the oven, so now I'm gonna get the KitchenAid mixer all cleaned. This is something that I need to do more often, and it needed to be cleaned so bad, so I'm just spraying it down with some Thieves cleaner. I'm gonna wipe down the whole counter area over here, and then I'm gonna get the dishes done and clean up the kitchen. Now that I've gotten that all cleaned up, I'm just going to dump my fruit into some bowls and add some water and Thieves fruit and veggie wash. All right, the cookies are in the oven, so now we're gonna get ready to make some dinner. We're gonna make some tacos tonight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dice up a bell pepper and dice up an onion.
Now I'm adding a drizzle of olive oil to the pan and I'm going to add the onions and bell peppers and get those started. In the meantime, those chocolate chip cookies were done, so I'm going to pull those out and then get the chocolate fudge ones ready to go in. Now I'm taking two pounds of ground turkey and I'm going to put those in with the peppers and onions and get that browned. Now I'm adding some taco seasoning to the top. I don't measure, I just cover the top of the meat. And then I also add some chicken stock instead of water, just for some really good flavor. I also don't measure that. I just kind of do it to the consistency that I know that we like. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like. It looks a little runny at first, but then as the sauce um, kind of comes together, it thickens up. So I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Now for the tortillas, I just add some olive oil to the bottom of a pan and then I'm using some corn tortillas. I stick those in there and just kind of get them, not crispy, but just a little bit cooked up in the oil on both sides. For our toppings on this night, we are just doing some shredded cheese. We're also doing some sour cream, but it's actually just plain Greek yogurt. We've been using that instead of sour cream, and it tastes basically exactly the same, just a little healthier. And then we're gonna do some hot sauce and some cilantro. I was out of fresh cilantro, so we're just doing some dried cilantro, but super, super easy and yummy. Sometimes we'll do like diced up onion and avocado and all sorts of stuff. Now dinner is done, and Donnie and I are gonna get to work on cleaning up the kitchen. It's actually my brother's birthday on the day that I was filming this. Actually, he lives in Australia, so this was on a Tuesday and his birthday was on Wednesday, but it was Wednesday in Australia. So I was on FaceTime with him, talking to him for his birthday. The kids were talking to him too. So that's why you guys see me holding my phone because I was on FaceTime. that is going to wrap up this video so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get all this stuff done and coming along with me on a day that I had a bunch of stuff to do I appreciate you guys clicking on this video and taking time out of your day to watch it be sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel so that way you don't miss out on any of my other videos and I will see you guys again very soon in my next video bye